Hi, welcome to the lesson. Choose the right statistical test, parametric or non-parametric test. This is Sir Bren, and don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and push the notification buttons for the latest videos. First, we will discuss the assumptions of the parametric test. Dependent samples are randomly taken. Example is simple random sampling. The level of measurement is interval or ratio. It is not nominal or ordinal. It follows a normal or Gaussian distribution. It has very minimal or no outliers. It assumes homogeneity of variance, meaning that all groups have the same or similar variance and sample size is usually large the advantage of parametric tests that is more powerful or meaning it has more statistical power less like to make a type 2 error meaning with uh, failing to reject a null hypothesis when in fact the null hypothesis is false Meanwhile, the non-parametric test is used when the assumption for parametric test, all of these assumptions are not met. However, it may be seen that both parametric and non-parametric test will have the same assumptions, but it still depends on the case requirements. Now, we will interpret a decision tree for choosing a statistical test. So these are the most commonly used tests. Uh, but before that, take note that statistical tests to be used is based on your research problem or question, the hypothesis, and normality test result. So let's start. So we determine what is the type of data. If it is qualitative, meaning discrete or categorical, we will use the chi-square test. If it is quantitative or numerical, continuous, we are asked two types of questions or purpose. We have two choices, differences, and relationships. Under differences, we have three choices. One, single sample mean. The multiple sample mean, which is divided into two groups. And the test to compare variances. For the single mean, we have the parametric one sample t-test or unknown variance. If non-parametric, we can use Wilcoxon sign rank test or sign test to compare medians. For multiple mean, we are asked how many groups. For two groups, we use t-test. It is either paired or unpaired for parametric conditions and if non-parametric we will use man whitney or wilcoxon rank sum test still under multiple means if it has more than two groups we will use one way ANOVA for parametric and if non-parametric the cruz wallis if the result yield that is it is statistical significant meaning there is a significant difference among the groups we will proceed with the post hoc test example are Tuki, Bonferronis, Dance, etc. that is under differences but if we seek the relationships we have two 
the regression analysis it has one independent variable and one dependent variable and for non-parametric the counterpart is logistics regression and in the other hand is the correlation analysis it's non-parametric counterpart is the Spearman's row and its parametric is the Pearson's R hope you have learned from this lesson and I will see you in my next video thank you very much goodbye